Hey, good morning. Sports Live NHL, David here. Super Bowl Sunday is finally here. No more talking, no more yapping, no more praying, no more wishing, no more videos. It's time to play this game and get it over with. Either two things are going to happen today. One, the San Francisco 49ers and Kyle Shanahan are going to win a Super, a Super Bowl. And I'm going to come on here and congratulate the 49er fan base, my friends who uh, throughout the years who have done videos, uh, for the 49ers and I'm going to be uh, I couldn't even tell you how pissed off I'll be to have Kyle Shanahan win a Super Bowl when he blew ours or the Kansas City Chiefs are going to win and I'm going to be ecstatic I'm going to congratulate the Chiefs fan that I know on here where the Chiefs stuff that I got was only one thing and laugh my ass off at Kyle Shanahan and the rooters of Kyle Shanahan. And we all know what happened when the Falcons beat Kyle Shanahan. And we all know when the Pudats and the Patriots lost in the playoffs, nothing's going to pale in the comparison to the lap that I'm going to get. So either the sports gods are going to be on my side, which they rarely, rarely are because they enjoy seeing me suffer, or, or they're going to be on my side. And so today is the day. And so we'll see what happens. Either way, you know I'm going to come on and give it proper, win or lose. Because I have a, so much emotion, emotionally invested in this game, as most Falcon fans, and uh, it's just, we, I mean, it just is what it is. Uh, so that's that with that. Good luck to both. I'm praying to God on all, I'm on my, on my knees saying, please, this one time. You let me down so many times in my life. Can we have this one? Yeah, if you want to call it that. So we'll, we'll, because usually in sports, when I, when I open my mouth and I want something really, 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 really bad, especially in the playoffs. It doesn't happen. The regular season, it does. But the playoffs, it rarely ever happens. Now, this point of this video is something that just came on the radio, which I thought was quite funny. How many people, year in and year out, call out from work the day after the Super Bowl? Question, comment below. Do you know you're going to call out the day after the Super Bowl, especially if you're a fan of either two teams that are in it? Do you know you're going to call out? Do you know you're going to call out? If your team wins it, do you know you're going to call out if your team loses it? If you if you don't have a dog in the fight and you go to Super Bowl parties and you party your butt off, do you know you're going to call out? How many have done that? Me personally, I've never done it because I usually have had the day after the Super Bowl off my whole life. Because all the jobs that I have had, they know how big a sports fan I am, and when I request it, they normally give it to me like they Super Bowl like NFL Sundays throughout my life. 95% of the time, I was, I've always had the Sunday off. So they, most of my jobs have worked with me really well. 2016, I was already off the day after the Super Bowl, I believe. Um, so not that, not that I remember. And I think the last couple Super Bowls, I've always been off. Um, but uh, And if I wasn't off, then you know I, maybe I just didn't watch the Super Bowl. I don't know. But I've never had an issue, so I know I've never called out the day after the Super Bowl. But how many of y'all have? What happened? Or do you know anybody, the stuff that's happened? Or are you planning on it? Me, I'm off, so it doesn't it doesn't matter to me. I can stay up as late as I want. But uh, just let me know. I, I thought that was kind of a funny a funny question, funny topic that they were talking about on uh, the radio just, just a little while ago. And I found it funny. But uh, let that marinate for you. Thank you, everybody. The sleep stream last night was funny. Like I said, I mean, I do the sleep streams for watch hours because I can't really do a lot of lies and stuff during the day unless I'm off or whatever because I work so much. But that one was good. I've always said I enjoy reading the comments, and I saw the comments in there. BVD popped in there. He was in there a lot. A couple other people. But I do got to say this. If you're going to come uh, in my live and you're a moderator – of mine and you insult my insult my live my sleep stream you're going to be demod demodded and you're going to be blocked out because you know when i give you a moderator status that means you're a reflection of my channel and for you to come in and insult my stream that person knows who they are and they are no longer a mod and they are not even allowed um on my on my videos or my lives you know i think that's the dumbest thing you could do now if a troll comes in there i'll block you if i feel like it or i won't block you but if you're a moderator in my live, you need to support my channel, support my live, 
or why the hell are you here to begin with? So I, I just want to just clarify that right now. Be careful what you say if you're going to come in there, especially if you're a part of the of the of the Sleater Brigade. I guess I'll call it the, now. From now, if you're blue, you, you're going to be the, in part of the Sleater Brigade. The new hashtag, hashtag Sleater Brigade. You should be honored if you're part of the brigade. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, gonna get this work day over with. Enjoy the Super Bowl tonight and everything, and have fun. Um, everybody, please be safe and responsible. Don't do anything stupid. If you win the Super Bowl, don't go over and flip cars and burn houses and go raiding. And if you lose the Super Bowl, don't go crazy and take it so personal that you go beat up the dog or or anything stupid, man. You know, play it smart. You know, be responsible. Don't go drinking and driving. I want all of y'all to, to wake up sun, on a Monday morning because it's not worth it. It's a sporting event. So just treat it as entertainment, as fun. Get excited. Get upset. And enjoy yourselves. Because God knows if that was the case, I, I would have many reasons sports-wise to go drinking and driving. And not, But that's I've never done that. Don't care to. I'm responsible and I know my limit. So anyway, Sports Live Nate tell David on the Super Bowl Sunday. Good luck to the Chiefs and good luck to the 49ers. We'll see what happens. Please. For God's sake, Lord, sports gods, reward me and go Chiefs.